Hey guys, here at Servo City we offer a lot of different servo gearboxes. For that reason I put several different gearboxes together to show you and although they may appear the same, they each function a little bit differently. So I'm going to go through the differences. Starting from the left, I have a channel mount gearbox with a 7 to 1 ratio and I went ahead and threw in a stock unmodified servo. So it's just an out of the box servo bolted up with the gear ratio. The next version is the 180 max version that we offer and this one has an external potentiometer on it um, so it's going to rotate a little bit further but the programming inside of the servo is stock and it's not been reprogrammed for max rotation. The third one is also 180 max so it's um, exactly the same as this one mechanically but internally we've changed the programming with a high-tech programmer. The next version is the 400 max version. It also has an external potentiometer on the back of the servo gearbox, um, but this one is a, an underdrive ratio, so that means the potentiometer is going to be rotating at a slower rate than the final shaft, which yields more rotation than the previous models. Uh, because the programming has not been changed on this version, you're going to get about 230 degrees out of it. The next version is also 400 max, just like this but the programming has been changed so it's going to rotate about 400 degrees and then our outlier over here this is a continuous rotation model i've, I've uh, modified the servo by taking out the potentiometer um, it's not driven by any shaft on the servo so that means it's just going to run around and around unless you give it a 1500 microsecond signal Today I, I went ahead and picked up a Tactic radio system. You can use any radio system to run a servo gearbox. This is just the one that I grabbed. Um, and I have them all plugged in to a series of Y harnesses running into a single channel to where, that I, can run, to where I can run all of these gearboxes off of a single joystick. Um, so as I move the stick, you'll notice they move differing amounts. This one barely moved because you've got a servo that rotates 90 and uh, then you've got it geared down 7 to 1. This version rotates about 45, uh, half of the, the full amount. This one's rotated about 90 off of center, uh, just slightly over that. This one's a little, uh, well, just about 180. And this guy is still running because I have the joystick over to the side. Uh, it has no feedback, so it's just going to continue to run until I release that joystick. When I release the joystick, all of these, because they have positioning feedback, they're going to return to their center position uh, because that is what the, the signal has called for them to do. Um, if I push the stick the other way, they'll rotate the opposite direction, as will this one, until I release. And these will all pop back to center and this one just stops. Keep in mind I use the Tactic radio system. Your radio system may send a different PWM signal, or you may not be using a radio system at all. You can use an Arduino board, a Raspberry Pi, or any type of servo controller you want to run these servo gearboxes. They run off the exact same signal you would use for any type of hobby servo. Um, if your servo controller sends a wider PWM signal, then you're gonna get more rotation out of any of these models than what it did on the Tactic radio system. If your servo controller sends a more narrow PWM signal, you're going to get a little less rotation. So, um, you know, keep that in mind when you're looking for the right gearbox. The other thing to consider is on the amount of precision that you get out of each servo gearbox, um, that's dependent on the amount of rotation it's able to do. So, a 400 degree version is going to rotate further but be less precise than, let's say, a 90 degree or even this stock one over here that's geared down. This one's gonna be super precise, uh, but not have very much rotation at all. So it's always good practice um, to get the one that has the proper amount of rotation for your project. Uh, if you guys are maybe working on a sailboat and you need 180 degrees of rotation, don't go out and get the 400 degree version. Make sure you get one of these that does 180 or just a little bit over 180, and then you can trim that out with your radio system or servo controller. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any tech questions, be sure to email us at tech at servocity.com. Mm -hmm.